her fingers are in my hair. I mean, I have hair. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm standing there and I'm holding her like I'm fucking standing, Jacob. In the train, barreling through the dark like I'm flying. And we're flying. Wow. And I reach around her hips and, and I lift her up and I'm... Uh, well, I mean, you know, we're having... A, that, that's not the point. I mean, the point is how it felt. Mm. It felt. I felt. Mm. Um, like, no. Mm. You know, truly not. That's well, great, man. I mean, people say that love is, is like this instantaneous chemical thing, right? But but this wasn't that. This was more. Like, we were, I don't know, connected. Nice. Really? What? I had this amazing spiritual experience with someone. Simulated. Here... <laughs> oh. Okay, the someone was simulated. Here it comes. No, I'm just saying. You can't not ruin this, can you? Well, you wanted my opinion, you know, you, okay? No, and... you keep saying you're in this, but you're not. Not really. That's how you feel? Yeah. Yep, that's how I feel. Okay. Well, I'm glad the sim was a positive experience for you. Okay, but I'm sorry you didn't fuck your cancer, Bench. You fucked yourself. And Jungle watched it. Oh my god. You know that what sim software about? was developed initially for military purposes? So, so what? So I did a little research last night, and it turns out the developer is this company called Blueprint, and Blueprint happens to be a wholly owned subsidiary of Jungle. I'm sorry. Well, I'm sorry. You did a little research? And then it all clicked into place, because guess what else Jungle owns? Oh my God, what is this? The fucking place. So Gabby, why? Dr. Why? Rajan, they all why, work why for Jungle. Why are you Jungle. doing this? Why am I doing this? I had a feeling, okay? Please, and please, don't I, make this one of your things. Oh, so it doesn't bother you, Jungle owning the place? No, it doesn't bother me. Okay, I'm dealing with some other shit at the moment, so no, I'm not really interested in one of your little capitalistic rants. God damn it. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Sorry. It's fine. <laughs> Maybe we should just go in. Or early. Well, your mom keeps looking at us through the blinds. She can wait. Okay. It's fucking weird being here. Really? I don't mind it. I mean, she renovates the same four or five things over and over, then there's shit like that. I thought that was your neighbor. We'll get it. It's coming up hard. Mm. Barry not doing much sailing these days, huh? You know, we were never boat people. We didn't even like water, but he just decided it was going to be our thing. And mm. uh, I tried to like it. I tried to learn, but he never let me touch anything. Holy shit. What? Gabby drives a pickup. She's on the phone. She's pissed. That's weird. This is weird, man. All right, don't watch her. Look at her face. She's shorting out. But th that doesn't make any sense. They can't do that, Lloyd. No, no, listen to me. Lloyd, Lloyd, listen. You need to project some authority here. No, you're the system administrator. From corporate? Jungle corporate? Are you sure? Because I want you to tell me exactly what they said. Shh, shut up. No, not you. I, I just... It's our data, Lloyd! No, no, I, I understand they technically... Just don't let them take it. Tell them... Tell them... Uh, patient confidentiality. Well, then I don't... I don't know. Tell them something... Tell them we're undergoing... A patch update. Well, then you come up with something! Stall them! There's a whole life there, you know? I think we should go inside. Ladies around dying people all day, every day. It's gonna come out somewhere, right? I think she's... crying. No. No, she's... Oh, no, yeah, she's crying. Shit. Here she comes. Hide. Hide. Hide? What the fuck? Uh... I don't... <clears throat> Morning. Hello. Good morning, boys. Shall we head in?
thoughts, feelings, questions, the group dialogue is a valuable step in Benji's progression. Take a look at your packet if you'd like a more detailed breakout of the day's structure. Mr. Berger, I've put together a little cheat sheet to help you track the conversation. He's got fineness. He's not stupid. He just doesn't care. Isn't that right, Barry? Sure. No, of course I, I wasn't trying He's to He's a fend. doctor, you know. Mm, orthodontist. My cousin's a dentist. That's not the same thing. Right. I always find it's helpful to warm up with a little exercise. What is this? I'm sorry? Page two. Primary objective, facilitate resolution. What is that? I'll be happy to address that. I don't know what it means. Mom, yes, you do. I honestly don't. Because what's left to be resolved? We resolve this at the doctor's office when you stop treatment. Mom. I know how difficult it can be to keep our focus where it needs to be. It's normal to feel frustration or at a loss for words. I don't lose words. Clearly. I think she's just saying that we're all here to try and do what's best for Benji. Well, then why didn't she just say that? Thank you, Jacob. So, Benji's prepared some thoughts for the day. Right. Um, so, so the thing with this program is uh, it's all about coming to terms with... Um, it's okay. Uh, this program makes you think a lot about death and why most of us avoid thinking about it until, you know, it, it's too late. Uh, and, and I don't want to do that. So for me, today is all about letting go of all the resentments and pain that pain? accumulate. Barry, are you listening to this? You bet. Not just mine. Yours, too. Donna. What? Would you like to share how you're feeling? Well, I'm uncomfortable. Why are you uncomfortable? Where are you going? Okay, maybe we should take a break. I, I have a break scheduled And for... we are taking a break. I knew she was going to do this. I'm going to go try and... Maybe it's better if I... Yeah, thanks. I'm sorry, she's... Don't let her derail you. You're doing great. This isn't about anyone but you. Oh. She's my mom. Of course. Is everything okay? I just need... Do you mind if I check on something quickly? Yeah, yeah, go for it. I'll just be out front. Right. So, Dad? You still got the boat, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Trying to remember what made you want to get into sailing in the first place, because, yeah, you never really. Mosquito Coast. The book? Yeah. I didn't know you read books. Bathroom. Huh. Yeah, we had some times on that boat. And then we just sort of stopped. Why did we stop? Yeah. Holy shit, Donna. This is this is really coming along. I've got nothing against people if they want to retile a bathroom, paint a wall. That's all fine and good. But a deck it's its own thing. It's a separate structure. It's not paint by numbers. It requires precision, planning, construction, and integrity. Okay, that's the pneumatic nailer. And uh, then these corner posts. Initially, I propped them up on a cement slab like the forum set, but it was no good. So I demoed it and started over with the reinforced cement bases 40 inches deep. Go ahead, test it. What? Jump. Wow, no wiggle. You bet your bottom. Mm. So, uh, this whole thing, it's a lot, huh? It is, but I'm building it right, and I'm enjoying it. Well, so I it's... meant today, Benji. I know what you meant. I just wasn't finished talking about the deck. Okay. Do me a favor. Grab the three-inch ten pennies. Uh... It's a box in the hills. Yeah, got it. 
I know this is awkward and weird, but it, it's how Benji wants it, and, and who am I to tell him? You're his friend. Uh, you love him. I love him. That woman in there, she doesn't even... We've already done this. I don't see the point of... What does he want from me? I, I think he just wants to know you're okay. I'm not. Or, or that you're going to be. I'm not. And neither are you. Sometimes I find myself thinking he has the easy part. Oh, God. That's terrible. I, I didn't mean that. I'm terrible. No. You're not. You were supposed to call me back, Lloyd. I need to know what's going on. I'm out here. Oh, you're calling me. Why didn't you pick up? Gabriella, it's Troy. I'm sorry, Troy from... From Jungle. Yeah, yeah, listen. I know we haven't officially met, but I feel as if I know you. Is that weird? Um, weird? No. Oh, good, because I mean... I've been watching you, Gabriella. I see you. Oh. I want you to know that you are seen. That's... Thanks. I don't want you to think this is an SEVP of D talking to a project staff member, okay? This is one human being reaching out to another in a time of pain. Pain? Pain, yes. And if we don't create structures where we can exchange empathy, then what does that say about our company, our family? Uh, I'm not sure I understand what you're saying. I'm saying it's not your fault. Um, is something wrong? There it is. The big question, the question we're always so scared to ask. The answer? Erratic behavior, mental instability, dereliction of duty. Dr. Rajan? We didn't see it because we believe too much. It's not our fault. The idea was inspired, the data was seductive, but the pressure and the power, Rajan couldn't cope with it. She cracked, Gabriella. Uh, she's... She's coming back, right? We're on the right path. We're almost Letting there. Letting go. That's the challenge now, looking forward, helping the data go wherever it needs to go next. You mean... We're shutting it down? Endings are only endings if you see them that way. But what about the program? I have an active patient. That's that's not a problem. Just just go ahead and wrap that up. He's day three. I, I can't We're just... We're all dying, Gabriella. Don't make a big deal out of it. But I, I don't understand. Why are we shutting it down now? We're close. Gabriella. I'm saying I found it. My individual, what? Benji Berger. He's the M-Tone. Uh -huh. Well, I I'm sure that he's a lovely person, but listen. Is there any way that I can speak to Dr. Rajan? I need... Stop. I just need to hear her voice. Stop! I feel like you're having trouble focusing. Stop what you're doing and pay attention properly. What I need you to do is dismiss the active patient and head back to the place to help the technicians with the data retrieve. Okay? Say okay, Gabriella. Say okay so I know we're on the same page. Okay. I think we should wait until Miss Gabby's back. If that's what you want to do. It is. Okay. Well, some updates on our end. Barry has a new primary care physician. We thought we'd switch it up and go with an osteopath for a bit. He's young, but he's sharp. We leave for our cycling tour of the Southwest on Friday, so we're very excited about that, aren't we, Barry? We're going to the bike shop tomorrow. Since when do you bike? Well, we're about to start. There's a new theory floating around that low-impact endurance cardio suppresses some of the fineness symptoms. And the repetitive vibrations from the wheels, that's part of it, I think. Isn't Lance Armstrong a finer? He had cancer, not fineness, and he's dead. Oh. We leave Friday for two weeks, but I'll have my cell on at all times, in case... So, then, this is goodbye. I suppose. I mean, I get the prescription next week, Mom, before you come back. Oh, Look, that's why I... I mean, we have to talk about this. I thought we were waiting. No, I, I, no, I want to say this now. Okay? Before it's too late. Excuse me. I got it. I guess it's back to you and me. Yep. 
Donna. Donna, please. He needs you to come back inside. I can't. There won't be another chance. I can't do it again. It's taken everything I have not to fall apart. And if I go back in there, I don't want it to be the last thing. I I don't want it to be like that. I know him. He's going to want to say everything. Probably. What would he say? I wish... Go on. I wish we were closer. I I lost you when I lost Dad. But it's okay. It's not anyone's fault that it broke us. It should have brought us closer. I'm sorry. You smell like him. Your hair. I used his shampoo. What else does he say? Don't let the rest of your life be sad. I don't want that. You were a good mom. Uh, I love you. Goodbye, my sweet boy. Goodbye. You think she's okay? She's fine. Yeah. And you? How are you? I'm fine. Dad, do you understand what's happening? You're dying. This is the last time we're going to see each other. This is goodbye. I'm gonna uh, hold your hand for a little bit. Okay. I was mad at the boat. What? You fell out of the boat, and I couldn't find you. Dad? And then I found you. Yeah, we never went again. I love you, Dad. Hey! You're back. Every, everything okay? I'm sorry. I... We need to talk, Benji. You were right. It takes work, but it's worth it. No. Today was worth it. Thank you. Please I, Look, I mean it. I, thanks for pushing me. I feel better right now than I have in a very, very long time. Oh, well, that's... Is, is something wrong? Yes, I, well, I wanted to say that we should get started earlier tomorrow. Sure, yeah, whatever works. We'll be meeting off campus for a special session. Sounds great. Is that it? Yes, I'll see you tomorrow then. Get some rest. I tried, but she... It's okay. I can't believe it's been five years. Yeah. It's crazy. Troy? 
Hey, hi, can you hear me? Sorry, it's a bit windy. I'm, I'm, I'm out for a paddle. Kayaking. Okay, scout girl. Well, I'll make this quick. We're uh, cleaning out the facility, and I just wanted, you know, as a courtesy, if you left anything and want to grab it or... I'm not allowed on company property, Troy. Right. No, I, I know. But, you know, we could bring it to you if you... <clears throat> so I spoke with your staff. Yeah, I was able to call in a favor and get Jeannie transferred, so she's all set. Troy. And Gabriella. Wow. Smart, industrious, goal-oriented. I mean, what do you think? Is she, you know, capable of handling assignments on her own? Troy, what do you want? What do you mean? I'm, I'm asking you about... You're asking me about what she found. She told you. You want to know if it's real, if you should pursue it. Okay. And? What was I doing at the place? Like with the cancer patient. What was I making for you? For jungle? What do you mean? You mean... Answer. You were developing the cure for fineness. That's right. And do you remember why I'm no longer involved with the project? Of course I remember. Then why would I tell you anything about what Gabby did or didn't find? Do never contact me again. Stand Up is produced by Esmilk Corp in association with USG Audio and Q-Code Media. Written, directed, and executive produced by Will Weggle and Danny Luber. Executive produced by Sam Asmail, Chad Hamilton, and David Wiener. Produced by Sarah Maddie and Greg Tilson. USG Audio executives include Liz Weil, Kelly Kiernan, Josh Lalonghi, and Alexis Cadell. Q-Code Media producers include Rob Herding, Sandra Yi Ling, and Jack Friedman. The End Up stars Himesh Patel as Jacob, John Reynolds as Benji, Marianne Jean-Baptiste as Dr. Rajan, and Mara Weaver as Miss Gabby. Additional performances by Amy Madigan, Tim True, Michael Liu, and Arash Aina Sazian. Original music and composition by Darren Johnson and Brian Kessley. Music editor, David Tadashore. Audio engineering by Ryan Walsh. Additional engineering by Neely Oftering and Beatrice Naronia. Edited by Joe Leonard and Ryan Walsh. Additional editing by Neely Oftering. Sound design by Christoph Classe. Additional sound effects editor, David Tadashore. Mix by Ben Milchev. Additional mixing by Sarah Ma. Casting director, Andrea Bunker. Assistant director, May Lee Apolucci. Assistant Director for Additional Recordings, Kelsey Adams. Script Supervisor, Sam Beasley. Script Coordinator, Teddy Kim. COVID Compliance Officer, Ben Swimmer. Production Coordinators, Bailey Grayson, Brandon Weisner, Paula Wolfsdorf, and Jillian Avenas. Production Assistants, Nathan Yan and Kasiani Mamalakis. Post Coordinators, Rachel Yanover and Beatrice Neronia. Production Legal, Christina Bulbrook and Lindsay Keel. Production Accounting, Pin Chun Liu. Special thanks to Mara Schuster, Lefkowitz, and Ashton Harold. This podcast was recorded under a SAG-AFTRA collective bargaining agreement. The End Up is a USG Audio production, a division of Universal Studio Group. Okay, I'll do it again.